In this video, we'll take a look at creating a cartoonish pouring liquid using the sine and bend deformers. Now, for pouring straight down, it's pretty easy. You can create a cylinder that looks like your cartoonish water, and you can simply make sure the pivot point is at the top of the cylinder, and then go ahead and keyframe your scale Y, and it looks like it's pouring straight out of the can. Now, for water that's going to pour out of a can that's on an angle and not straight up and down, you're going to need to do something a little bit different. Go ahead and position your water cylinder at the spout of the watering can. Now, in the cylinder's creation node, the polycylinder here, you want to make sure to set a high enough subdivision's height so that the deformer has enough divisions to be able to bend and deform. With the cylinder selected, go to Deform Nonlinear and click on Bend to create the Bend Deformer, and you can see it in the middle of our cylinder. Use Curvature to create your bend. Now, Low Bound and High Bound will control how far the bend goes in your cylinder. With a low bound of zero, the bottom half doesn't move at all. Now what I need to do is to make sure that I move both the cylinder and the deformer together, because if I move just one, it messes up the deformation. So with both selected, I'll go ahead and position this crooked cylinder to come out of the spout, and now it looks like water is coming out. Now what I can do is I can reduce the envelope and it basically turns the deformer off when it's at zero. And you can see the pivot point is at the top of the cylinder when it's straight. When I engage the deformer again, the pivot point is still at the top of the cylinder. The cylinder itself thinks it's perfectly straight. The deformer happens after the cylinder itself. So when I use scale Y. The cylinder still thinks it's straight, but it's going along the path of the deformer. So I'll go ahead and keyframe scale Y, and that'll make it look like your cartoonish water is coming out of the spout. Now, let's add a little bit more to the sides of this. We're going to add a sine deformer under Deform Nonlinear Sine. We're going to add a little bit of waviness to the edge of that pouring liquid. First, I want to make sure to move the deformer so that it's centered in the straight part of that cylinder, as you can see here. Now, in the Attribute Editor, you'll see under Sine 1, the controls that I have for the sine deformer. I'll start with amplitude as that is what controls the size of the waves in the sine wave. You can see that the top and the bottom of the cylinder are getting deformed by the sine deformer as well. Not exactly ideal. So I'm going to change my drop off and when I set it to 1 it stops the top and the bottom from deforming. Now I'll set the amplitude to show you the top and the bottom of the cylinder don't get deformed. I'll set a small amplitude and then I'm going to adjust the wavelength and the wavelength gives me more waves along that sign. Once I settle on that I'm going to go ahead and adjust the amplitude to reduce that a little bit to give just a hint of the waves. Now offset allows you to move that sine wave. So I'm going to set a key for the offset at the beginning and at the end of the animation. And what that does is it kind of makes the water look like it's flowing down. Now when you play back the animation of the scale as well as the animation of the offset, you've got a cartoonish flowing water.